Hi, my name is Blash and I'm a product manager in Metril. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly test a class 1 appliance, which is in our case portable RCD protected uh, box equipped with uh, multiple socket outlets using the MI3360 OmegaPad XA, an appliance tester from Metril. If we want to fully examine and test a portable RCD protected box with multiple socket outlets, we need an appliance tester that can perform a multiple point testing, as all the socket outlets must be tested. In our case, the measurements that are going to be performed are continuity of uh, protective earth, insulation resistance test, PRCD test and polarity test. For continuity of protective earth and polarity test, it is crucial that are performed on all socket outlets. The insulation resistance test and RCD test can be carried out on a random socket outlet once as all the uh, critical elements are evaluated equally, regardless to which socket outlet the return test lead is connected to. Each examination uh, of electrical equipment must consist of thorough visual inspection, which is in some cases even the only applicable test option. Because we are testing a portable RCD protected box, we have to check the connection cable um, and we have to uh, make sure that uh, there are no damages on the box itself. So now that uh, we know what we have to do, uh, the first thing first, so we start with visual inspection. We have to check this uh, connection cable. We have to make sure that this entry point is not damaged and also the cable not damaged. We have to evaluate um, all our test sockets. We have to check that none of them is damaged. If the fuses are operating and uh, the RCD switch, we can test it manually, but of course we will also check it with an electric test so that we have functionality of this uh, RCD also recorded. So our visual inspection is now finished and we will proceed, uh, proceed with the electrical testing. Um, of course we have to connect this uh, mains cable to the inlet socket of the three-phase adapter and then we will use two additional uh, adapters for ev evaluation of single and three-phase sockets. This is our uh, three-phase return lead. We connect it to this three-phase test socket and the second one is the single-phase return lead which we connect to the single-phase return socket. Uh, we will of course first start uh, evaluating the three-phase socket and uh, on this three-phase socket we will perform uh, earth continuity test and then proceed with earth continuity testing of the uh, rest of the single-phase sockets. Then we will return to insulation resistance test which we will perform uh, using the three-phase socket um, or three-phase cable and uh, following the RCD test and the last uh, group of tests will be the polarity testing, which again will be evaluated through the complete uh, socket outlets, single phase and three phase. So I will now simply connect this three phase cable. And uh, from here on, we will select and adjust the parameters of our test sequence. So for this application, testing of portable RCD protected box, uh, I have created a um, special auto sequence dedicated for such equipment. Uh, the auto sequence was created uh, by help of uh, MESM software. This is uh, Material Electrical Safety Manager, uh, which is suitable for uh, printing of test results and also for creation of auto sequences. So inside, um, the group of uh, default predefined test sequences, I have added also the test sequence dedicated for testing of uh, such equipment. Before we proceed with the actual testing, we will just uh, simply adjust few parameters. 
we select uh, the menu, uh, the option view, and um, inside here for the uh, measurement of uh, continuity, of earth continuity, we select multiple points, and also for the uh, measurement of polarity, we again select multiple point testing. We have to do this because uh, for earth continuity and polarity test, all socket outlets has to be evaluated um, equally. After these two adjustments are made, we simply start with testing. Uh, the first test that pops up, it's of course the visual inspection, but we have already uh, done this so we can uh, confirm the results of visual inspection and proceed with the earth continuity test. So the first socket to be evaluated is the three-phase one. We proceed with the testing and we see that the results have passed. So now it will take a little bit more time to evaluate uh, the rest of the sockets, but we have to do uh, separately each test socket wipe one by one. Now the evaluation of uh, earth continuity test is finished. We reconnect the, the three-phase adapter for evaluati evaluating of insulation resistance and for evaluation of the uh, RCD. Here we finish the loop and the test instrument proceeds with testing of insulation resistance test. So this test is now finished. Uh, we make sure that our RCD is armed and we proceed with the RCD test. During this test, of course, if it passes, the RCD has to trip out. So now the first trip out appeared and we are waiting uh, for reversed polarity. So the, the RCD is now tested. And the uh, next test following now is the polarity test. Again, we will start evaluating the three-phase socket and then proceed with the evaluation of the rest of the single-phase sockets. The first test has passed. We disconnect and reconnect our test cable. Our test procedure is now finished. We end the loop. And uh, after this, we simply save test results under appropriate structure element. Now we save the results into the memory of our test instrument. To do this, we simply select option save results. Uh, we see that we have already uh, some kind of a structure inside 
uh, we now select an appropriate structure element uh, where we will store the results of this portable RCD protected box. Uh, we see that this is a structure element appliance. We see that we have here already uh, inserted the name portable RCD. We will also insert this um, uh, device ID by using this uh, Bluetooth uh, scanner. We simply scan this uh, label and we see that we already have the ID number inside. We can adjust also other parameters such as uh, retest period, uh, location of this device and other parameters if needed. If we are satisfied with uh, uh, this data, we can press create and save. Now uh, our test results uh, are completely uh, let's say the complete test results are now stored under these structure elements and can serve for uh, printing of professional uh, test reports. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.